Hello everybody and welcome to the Boring Dead. Um Can I have a mouse up a little bit? Oh no. That's fine, okay. Stop playing the game. The last episode. Sure you're good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah! Jesus Christ. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. I don't trust this guy. I want to kill him. There. Piece of shit. It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Quite a place. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? Oh god, this is the ice. I remember the ice. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. We just said that, and you can tell it. First, since he's so confident, it's okay. I'm ready because I can tell there's going to be some action here. Just if we walk slowly, we look like walkers. We're okay. Don't worry. Oh no! We got some walkers behind us. It's only a few of them. Should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. That's too less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! Kill him! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! What the hell? I don't care. It's because this kid dies at all. Not at all. It would be better. Well, they made it. Oh, this is rip. Oh, no. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. Lay down. You sure? Yeah. 
You got walkers on the way. Let me help you. It's too you. thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. No, no. Stop. Stop. Stop, you silly people. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You gotta get out of there, Luke. Yeah, Clem. I'm working on it. You need to help. No. Clem, go. Go help him. No, him. Clem, Clem, do not. Just go back for him. You're lied. You Stop do telling it. her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Claim you can make it, but you need to go. No. Now. Ah! It's too dangerous. Clementine, you... stop! Clementine! Yeah, that's right. You keep shooting the walkers out. I'll just come grab the guy. Just go back. Please. I got you. Please. Go, oh, Dad. Thank you. He. Oh. Don't. Uh. No. Get off of me. Get off of me. Oh. Who's on the earth? How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. This is gone. It's great. This is gone. We should have gone. God damn it. It's my fault. I, sh I should have stayed with him. I said I started to go. There was nothing in it. Clem tried to help him. He just... Oh, God. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny, don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault. Kenny has a point. I just went off with that. what? Your friend here turned out to be a shitbag after all. He's just a scared kid. This ain't on him. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. Beat the shit. Fucking commie piece of shit, Teddy. Go, Kenny, kill him. Kill him. This is what I wanted. You deserve it, you gummy piece of shit. What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. I don't care, I just want him dead. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How me? is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault. And you damn well know it. Can you warm me up, please? I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? It's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Captain. 
Bloody hell, that was quick. Put a bullet in your head, but the game won't let me. Let me take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've oh, lost people God. before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. Glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck you, Arvo. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. She's not easy to like. Well, that's putting it mild. Feels like another Lily situation to me. All right, give it a turn. So close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? <laughs> I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Ken. All 
Alright, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Generator. Busted. What? Want one? No, thanks. Do you? Remember when you saw me first, back at the lodge? I felt real bad you believed me. You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Wrong. Yeah, I wish I hadn't lied to Walter. Don't remember what Walter who? The man at the lodge. Oh, about his boy that thing that Bob shot. Oh, yeah. I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? I think people respect me. Really? I think so. Well, good for you, honey. You know, I've been all over. Run with a lot of people. A lot of men. And listen to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. Yeah. <laughs> also, surely there's like three quarters of that left. You could have like stuffed it out and then and later, because surely there isn't like limitless supply like there was <laughs> before the troubles. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. Good! I'm he sad he didn't blood. take it the extra inch. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. But then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. He didn't make a mistake. Is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. <laughs> I think it needs food or something. It?
Seems like you've done that before. Do you want to try? Oh, this would be no fun. No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna puke. It puked. It puked. Gross. I almost feel like she's like that are like uh, Easter eggs almost. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Got it working. It works. What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Jenny, it's freezing up here, man. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, but me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, are you okay? I know what you two are gonna do when you're both assholes. Better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. <laughs> I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, 
We got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. This is different. How? Where are we gonna find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. Cause we gotta be ready.